First things first, I got to get this bed, which I'll show you here. It's on my street corner. Last year, it was basically just a big chunk of grass. Pulled everything out. Um, pulled, basically killed off all the grass. And it set it up so I could do this. And I had a whole ton of flowers in here. I uh, did a few other things for the community. You know, nice little displays. Folks kind of liked it. So this year, I'm putting some bulbs in so we can have flowers. And that will get me through first part of the year. And then I'll adjust it throughout the year as I see how it goes. So with that, starting off. Little rake, rake, rake. Get everything set. I've got uh, basically fabric underneath here. That I've got to get out first. Because I didn't have time last year. I was getting my business started and you know, I just didn't have the time to go through and do those things like I need to. That thing cracks me up. So it's 25 miles an hour through here. I've done everything I could. I'm that I'm that old guy now apparently. Who's gonna worry about you kids are going too fast. That type of stuff. Be that guy. Never thought I'd be that guy. I was always a kid going too fast, but I suppose this is middle age now. I'll get my bag here. Right here. This guy here. Probably just got to connect him right here. I think it's probably best. Go anywhere. For all of my I can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm just tying up a bag here for my for my pins. My best if I just get these on too, because I'm probably going to be down here in a hurry with this. As I mentioned before on these live broadcasts, do yourself a favor. Make sure get yourself a nice set of knee pads that you can use once you get to a certain age. You can. Probably guess what that certain age would be. Definitely rhymes with 40, though. That's for sure. All right, so I got one of those. Gonna walk this guy along. He should come up right with it. Oh man, those worms are living their best lives. One thing I want to show you, too. Once we get, get a little further along here, show you one of the, you always, 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 always to protect the soil for your plants. You always want to keep it, keep everything covered. That yeah, dirt should never not have something on it. Uh, things go really bad really quick if you do not have something covering your soil. Like it gets real bad and you don't want that. So, with this, just going along here, getting this land. Yeah, of course, the wind's going to be blowing at rough billion miles per hour. It's just the way it goes. So, uh, I just moved back back here to Michigan a couple of years ago, and you know, folks are telling me like, man, the winds. It didn't used to always be this windy. That's what they were telling me, and I. It's been. I don't know. I I don't recall it being this windy either when I was younger, but since I've been back, it's basically you get anywhere near the uh, the solstice. I'm sorry, yeah, the equinox, I should say. Any anywhere near any of the equinoxes, it ends up being just this garbage stuff here. So, so this landscape fabric did the job. I really needed to keep the face of the weeds away for a year, you know. I don't like this stuff all that much. It's a bunch of plastic, obviously, but you know, it's a time and place for everything. And this guy, but when I first got to this stuff, this uh, this little chunk of land here, I mean, it had been grass forever. Nothing ever really been done with it, and you know, just n not taken care of. And the soil underneath it was just terrible. Now, one year, it has darkened up. 
is you can see life has actually returned to it. Just a simple thing of having something decent planted in it and taking care of it. So it's pretty cool. But there's one row kind of done. I'm gonna, gonna make it so you guys can kind of keep an eye on me while I'm working here. So this. But as I'm going, I'm just pulling the fabric stuff out of here. And you'll see them if you ever do this. What's great is, you know, don't go and pull them ahead of time. They come up with a fabric and you'll just see them sticking out the bottom there. So you can take them out just as you go if you've ever done this with this fabric. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, just got to get in there to start first though. So you see, you can just see them right there. And every place you see kind of a hole is where I had flowers pushed through and stuff. This whole thing was just filled with flowers. Awesome. Annuals that I had for last year. So yeah, I've got two right here. Yeah, so it was really nice. It looked really pretty. Um, so I had the flowers, and then in the fall I did a a little something for my for my neighbors. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, I had like a little um, some scarecrows and some bales you know a little autumn scene i grew a bunch of a whole bunch of can not say a whole bunch enough and like seven or eight for here plus some for the house so it was kind of nice had a whole bunch again had a group of them that looked pretty good and then so yeah i had that little, that little autumn scene that was pretty cool liked it a lot of people stopped by and were just you know saying thanks that's one of the things i talked about with people too is you know we it doesn't take much to just a little bit of effort. Now this is doing wrong. This is at, when I started, this was a lot of bit of effort, but it doesn't take a lot of effort just to do something nice in your area. You know, got a yard, pick up a small corner of it. Don't, it doesn't have to be this big thing. Just do a little bit, you know, your neighbors will appreciate it. You'll feel better. If your property looks a little nicer. Even if you're a renter, you know, I did that with all my properties. I, would take just a little bit and I don't say give back because I was paying for the property, but you know, go out of my way to make sure I kept the yard looking good. You know, if there was ever any issues that I could just take care of, you know, I'd let the, you know, the building owner know that I took care of something, but if I could take care of it, I normally would. Something small, larger items, obviously, because I was a renter, but you know, and you'll just see people will naturally start joining along. When I first moved here, uh, you know, nobody was literally taking care of this section of the of the town. And now I've got it really weren't. It was it looked pretty pretty bad in areas. But now I moved into my area, my house here uh, during taking care of this corner, which people really like. But then I'm also like, you know, during the winter. Uh, you know, I'll run my I'll run my snowblower all the way down to where uh, basically down down the tracks here, so that way the kids aren't going through uh, you know a bunch of snow or or worse having to get out in the road because we do get some deep snows here in order to get to school. So they can safe for them. Well, what happened is a gentleman who lives up near where those where the roads at. He actually went out of his way and took and took a couple hours and did a full, like deep clean of the entire uh, uh, the entire track area, which is awesome. So sort of sweeping it up and just taking care of it. So it was great. That was fantastic. Yeah, it's good stuff across the board. But yeah, across here just got all my neighbors. They're jumping in now. And just doing those little things to take care of their places. But someone's got to go first. It's always the way it goes. Someone has to be, someone has to go first and be that person that's going to try. So, you know, be that way. So anyways, this whole section here, you can just see where I'm ripping up everything. Is I've got my, my bulbs, at least the first round of them, that I'm going to go ahead and get planted here. Just so I have something in the ground. But all this is going to get recovered up 
you know, all this is going to get recovered up here. Um, as far as the ground, make sure that it's protected. But yeah, I say this is my favorite time of the year, though. I just love, I mean, minus the wind, obviously, but get up here and get back to work taking care of this stuff. Uh, you know, it's one of the reasons that I even have my garden, also. It just gives me a chance to kind of get out here and just enjoy the sunshine. Michigan winters are not fun. We, uh, let me scoot this over a little bit so you can see me walking here. Try to stay in the shop for you guys here. Sorry about that. There you go. But, uh, the Michigan winters are not fun. January and February, all we see are clouds and snow. Clouds and snow. We don't see the sun. It has to do with the way that the wind's blowing across the lake. So it's always blowing this cloud deck right over the top of us. So we're either getting, you're getting, you know, clouds every day, but depending if there's any humidity that's made its way up, we might also be getting, you know, a big chunk of rain or snow. But most, but if we go a couple, you know, eight weeks, ten weeks without seeing the sun. Uh, it's part of the reason I got my greenhouse too, not just for my plants, but you go back and you subscribe, you follow me, you'll have seen a couple of videos of me just chilling out in my greenhouse just so I could get some, when the sun did come out, have sun on my face and not be freezing to death because it was typically like, you know, 15 degrees out when the sun came out. But this stuff all looks pretty good. Uh, this is sort of look. Oh yeah, look at that. Breaks right up. Perfect. Still got a bit of compaction in there, but we'll take care of that here in a minute. But, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. You can get this stuff down here just to kind of stifle off that, you know, that first layer of, you know, weeds and stuff. Because, you know, once I got the grass, out, once you get the grass out of an area like this, I've got another thing here once you get the grass like saying i completely killed off all the grass here i had plastic over it to kind of burn them all off uh and then once you get rid of them that opens it up for the weed seeds to then do their thing right because now they've got access so you got to have something in there to kind of stomp them out so what i did is on top of this fabric which the stuff you know again is what it is not the best i had like four inches of compost, which is now, or sorry, of this mulch to help suppress any weed growth from there. So, it's kind of where I'm at now. Get this up, be able to get the bulbs in the ground, they're going to be happy. Get some, get some color up in this place, you know? It's going to be nice. You know, if you guys, anybody watching or checking this out later if you subscribe i've got a whole area across here which the city the village owns or it's village property it's in the easement and i'll be turning into a a small little park adding some flowers in there uh some wildflowers some perennials and then uh yeah it'll just be a nice little area a little bench extra i have an extra bench i'm just going to throw out there nice wooden one nice and brown because there's a whole I guess I can show you guys. Let me get this thing taken. I'll show you guys real quick. The uh, what it's going to look like. I'll give you guys a quick flip over here. So that area over there is where I'm going to do it. But you can see that's all open, and that's eventually going to be like it's a hardwood, you know, a little hardwood. It's going to be great. So, anyways, out here doing this stuff today. This is a good time. I mean, I don't like this landscape fabric at all. This stuff's terrible. But, you know, my neighbors are always laughing at me when I'm out here because if the sun's out, they I'm out here and they're always just cracking jokes about it. One of the things that my mom and I, as different as we are, it's one of the things we do share is the second the sun's out, we're outside. But anyways, I'm making good progress along here. So... This next spot here. Hopefully, you guys are in a spot where you're going to be able to start doing some uh, some work outdoors and get to enjoy some of the sunlight or sunshine. 
not sure where you guys live at. Where you guys live? Where you know? Where you guys at? Anybody that's watching right now, I'd love to kind of hear where you're from, just because you know gardening's different no matter where you're at. Same thing doing landscape. It's a little bit challenge, but like I said, it's good stuff. And you can see what I did for the flowers that I had. So I'll be able to show you this in a second once I get there. But what I did is I actually cut off the flowers that I planted so that they could regrow and come in again this year. So I'm going to have inners, inners, and I'll show you in a minute here, but I've got perennials that I planted. I lopped off the top so I could come in this year and put some bulbs in, but I needed something quick just to be able to get in because it was like mid-year, like June when I got started. So anyways, you get all these uh, I was saying, it was last year here, I was down here too. Whew, that wind was kicking. But I say my perennials, they're. I see this here. I got one of y'all still with me. You can see this guy. Back this year. That's what I want to see. That's good stuff right there. I say, when I first started though, there was. This soil was terrible. It was big sandy yuckiness. Now, yeah. Got my little warm buddies have moved in. All sorts of happiness going on. Can't beat it. Yep. Oh, this is coming up great, too. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love it. There we go. Nice. Right. Let me pull some of these up. Now I know not all my flowers are going to make it this year. Some of them were, they're okay, but not everybody's going to remake it this year. That happens from time to time. Let me make sure I'm in frame here for y'all. I see my silliness. There you go. All right. That's what this looks like. It's good to be out, enjoying the weather. Getting this this fabric off of here is the way to go, though. I'll tell you that much. Love it. Looks, you know, help did what I need to do. But man, this stuff is garbage for, well, literally garbage. So you know what you can do with it once you once you use it. And what really happens is, I don't know if you can see it or not. But one, anything that does grow in here, the weeds, the roots from the weeds, they get locked in nice and solid because they have this really good fabric to weave a bunch of roots through, which makes it a challenge when you want to get rid of said weeds because they now have a nice comfy home to live in. But anyways, let's get in there. Don't leave me hanging out. I want you in. Get in there. Come on, bud. Oh, this It's wind today. What a what a mess. Alright. See what else I got here. Look over here. I got this one left. I got this piece. Which is right here. So, like I said, I've got some pink and white. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. I'm terrible with that. I got them on sale. They were basically basically dead. 50, 50 cents for each one of them. So, I think I got like 50 of them. So, it wasn't much. It was 25 bucks for this whole flowers for this whole thing. And I said, they'll be back this year, too. Most, most of them. Not all, but most. So that's off it's been loosened up kind of rake this out a little bit and see where all my plants are at so make sure i'm interspersing the best way possible i don't know why 
why you can't get rid of. Poof, that stuff's terrible. I was saying, may give a quick tutorial on why crabgrass is so hard to get rid of. We all, but. Anybody that spent time around crabgrass knows, but man, is this stuff ever a pain once it gets into a location. Okay, let's go right here. Into the sewer you go. Same thing with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're gone. These little chunks of grass here. Gotta go. Save my dirt. You see the worms out moving about. So, soil temps must be getting pretty good. Part of what I'm waiting for right now is these soil temps to get above 50 uh, for about a week. So we can go mushroom hunting. That morels in the area. But we got to get a string of warm days together so we can... Well, so they, they can fruit and I can get those, get what I'm after. Yeah. All right. Should be the last of this. There's a little crappy trash bag I had to use for that one spot. Don't tell anyone. Cool. So now. that great so let's rake this out and see what i'm working with here so i got all that landscape fabric out of there it's good all right just behind you guys for a second while i get this taken care of Yes, yeah, so this is going to be the interesting part, just to see how many of my plants survive the winter after I cut them back. Yeah, like these guys are perennials. In theory. Some of them should have made it. Not all. But, you know, we had some ridiculously cold winters. We'll see. Just kind of want to see where they're at. I'm going to do this by half here. So one of the things I got to be be cognizant of too is I've got a gas line running right through here so I mean I know there's only so much I can do all right well, let's see should be able to see most of them here so this is the only one that I have that's one's not showing any life. All right. Well, I think I'm going to take stock of what I have. Do this side. I'll do half over here. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's about half and half. All right. I have no idea if these guys are going to make their way back or not. I see one that's greening up. I showed earlier, but I think that's probably going to be the, unfortunately, the exception rather than the rule because I'm not seeing a lot of, well, anybody else kind of 
pop it out here, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Do a little weeding while I'm here. Yeah. That guy, nothing there. Yeah, so you get these guys all situated. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Kind of walk through what I got here. Got to do some math here. Split this up. So, some giant alum. Some giant alum, allium bulbs. Well, these guys are all getting happy out here. Oh, they're definitely going. See this. There's my roots, so they're going to go this direction. These guys are all popping, so i got to get them in. All right, so. So, I got my giant allium bulbs that will be going in. Pretty sure these. All these need to be in groups, so, so yeah. Count these guys off. Got them in today for sure, so count these out real quick. Some of these aren't probably gonna make it, it's fine. Two, four, six, eight, ten. These are all generously donated by my mom. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, this, 22, 24, 26, 28. We'll call this 30 with all these little nubs that are kind of little nothings here. Just put all those in one. Uh, this guy's this guy smoked. Anything with this one, that one's done. This guy will have something to him, so all right. So, we want 15 kind of scattered out around in the back here. So, I got those tulips, I got daffodils, my tulips, daffodils. So, I think I'm going to do the, the daffodils just up front here. And along here, I'll do my alums just kind of around here. And I think I'll do the perennials, or the annuals will be that direction. Yeah, so I got daffodils. The tulips are really only good for a bit. I'll have them on the side, the alum over here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, you can move them around later. Okay, so there's that. So I need 15 of these guys. So we're just going to, or 30. I'll spread these guys out around here. So this is gonna look like, yeah. Well, we'll give it a go. Worst, worst case scenario, jump work out so well. You guys, better look at what I'm doing over here. All right, so this is what I'm working with in this area. <sighs> this spot right over here. Got this guy. Go. So I think these are all the giant alum bulbs. Allium bulbs. I have a group of those just kind of around here, I think. I'll do. Yeah, I think so. Because they're going to be obviously up in this this area here. I'm going to do some, some daffodils. Daffodils, daffodils. Like I said, I'm going to have perennials or annuals going all the way around there. Let me see something. Oh, hello. How's it going, Shannon Cole? So, this is probably the biggest piece here, just, you know, getting this spread out where it's at. All right. All right. So, giant alum. Yeah, whatever. Strong man. 
I'm assuming. How far do these guys got to be now? I imagine the giant houses are probably a little bit further down. Yeah, six inches. That's kind of what I was thinking. Which is this piece right here. Good stuff here. So there's one of 30. It's going to be a lot. Let me just I'm gonna leave these guys. I really see them poking through here. So oh, great. Oh, yeah. Wind's kind of dying down a little bit. Thank goodness. So this guy here. That was something. Yeah, this will be, be interesting to see if, how much of this I'm screwing up in the future here. I imagine probably quite a bit. I guess should research a little better about how these need to be planted, but that's all right. Ain't gonna, it's a wonderful thing about plants. They tend to overcome our silliness for the most part. It's the way it should be. Thing. I wish this thing would kind of give me a little beep or flash if I if I knew anybody was you know when anybody hopped on. You know, people saying hello and kind of checking out the silliness that I'm doing. Well, it's a big chunk of cement right there. Look at this guy. Oof. Here, find a home. We are gonna add a little bit of loveliness to this. There we go. Can't really do anything across the street right now because I have I'm put two right next to each other. Let's see how this goes. Drop one right here. So this is kind of one section here. Put some over on this end. And I am not a we'll see what what these guys are able to do for us here. So I have no idea. But we'll learn this year. This year's going to be a learning year. That's... Okay, so there's that. I'm going to go there. Over this other side here. Oof. That wind is doing its thing. Put these guys in. Over here. Uh. Whew. But yeah. A little shot today just to kind of see how this goes. I have no idea if these guys are going to help farm. I should have looked. But I imagine... They will be forgiving this year since they're already kind of popping a bit where they need to go. It's 
get this stuff down there. But, and you know, we've had some cold, we got some more cold weather coming through. That's for sure. But you can tell the, I keep these, um, so I keep my bulbs, anything that I have, you know, seeds and otherwise, I store them, always keep them out in the garage after I uh, dehydrate them, the ones that I save after I dehydrate them uh, so that way they can go through you know uh, you know the official phrase for it but they can just get you know, seasoned or whatever it's called so they can get cold cold enough for those that need it to be able to do their thing you know so there's that guy there good or here. So my understanding these guys also will be filling in, which would be nice. There. Right, a couple more down this way. You now the fun part about bulbs, they just kinda flowers get you more flowers, get you more flowers, you know. But, just kind of kind of keep an eye on them because like my mom she's the reason i got all these she had to cut a lot of hers back she had way too many flowers in her, uh, her sections of her garden so there's a new homestead for me this works out as this little way for me to get a whole bunch of free free bulbs is for this area just hey mom whenever you're ready to be done with some of those send them my way you know so Man, I'm taking the sun today. This is hitting the spot. The two of you guys together. Actually, I'm fill this guy right here. There's that guy. Boom. Okay. These are all kind of. Still got a bunch of these left. This is the joys of this. So. I want some tulips in here. I also just go all the way around it. You know? Why not? Look how far apart these daffodils are supposed to be. Six inch. This is one square foot of them, huh? Okay, so this guy's... And clusters, huh? So I've got one, two. They know people like daffodils, so they like to obviously like to charge up for them. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna bring the remainder of you guys. Come here, you guys. All y'all just gonna get mixed together here. I think. Bring you guys over here. All right. Let y'all see what I'm doing here. All right. So. Just kind of making our way around here. Do working with our giant alliums at the moment. As you can see, I'm a little bit behind, but nothing too crazy. Get caught up here in a second. You know, once they're in the ground, they'll do their thing. I mean, we still got a few few more days of more weeks of cold coming through. That's fine. All right. So, let me clear the rest of this out here. Maybe I'll do tulips on this side. I don't know. One of those things. I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Just trying to get some flowers. Oh, hey, buddy. Get you back in there. There you go. Just kind of keep going here. Oops. Yeah, this is a, not a bad way to spend a day. I'll tell you that much. Kind of keep on... Keep on keeping on, you know? 
this out of here. So my my corner here is one of the busier areas just for people going through and stuff. And my, my neighbors, God bless them, they're, they're so, not that they're nosy, but they're curious. Always curious what Ryan's doing in his property. I tend to keep busy. And I mean, for a good, for good reason. I keep a lot of, I just have a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's a brand new property that we had built here. So I'm, you know, pretty much starting a lot of stuff from scratch. I may be doing things that I had one guy tell me, like, I got to stop doing as much as I'm doing because his wife was giving, giving him some grief about it. That, uh, <laughs> that he needed that of uh, things that she wanted done since she saw the work that I was doing. I thought that was pretty funny. I'm trying to cause anybody you no know, grief. But I mean if your wife's telling you to step your game up, you know, you might need to step your game up. That's you know it sounds like a you problem, not a Ryan problem. But all right. I don't worry about this phone thing. I know it goes down pretty deep so because I know it goes down deep because the guys that were doing my oh anyways if you never actually, <laughs> uh, welcome back. So, uh, but for those of you who don't know, they got a, uh, when it comes to these, it's really easy on these bulbs. Once they, they pop back open, the roots are actually at the bottom and you'll see where they'll be sprouting from the top. I think I've, see where this one's actually just starting to break in just a little bit right there. So. Good stuff there. Yeah, I actually see on this one probably a little bit better. A little nub right there. But you're saying we're gonna get this out here for my for my guys. I think it goes down a little bit deeper. Oop. There you go, buddy. Get you in there. Good. Check. Jump on the mark right here. Yeah. So, got room for a few more. Drop them in right here. Yeah. I'll tell you, I love me the internet. That's what I absolutely just love it, love it, love it. Especially, you know, you got idiots like that idiots. I don't want to say idiots. That guy's not an idiot that was here earlier. He just young and cracking jokes, you know, because that's exactly the type of guy I was <laughs> saying stupid shit like that. Um, just because you can get away with it, you know, that's the thing. We'll put two in here because I do not trust that guy to come up. All right. This big old laundry list of these guys. What a bunch. Goodness. These guys in here. Like I said, I'm sure I'm planting these incorrectly, but we will find out. So, still only really got. The rest of these guys are pretty rough. Yeah. And yeah, this one's probably good. You're done. You're done. Yeah. Well, these ones are all crap. Crap. That's guy right there. There he goes. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, one more good one left in there. One more good one. Let's. Ah, uh, what about right here? So, so the next thing here. Oh, what are you doing sitting out here, buddy? That's not good. One guy out here just minding his own business. Get him home. Right here. Drop 
you in right there. There you go. All right, so we'll cover all of you back up now. Everyone's getting covered. Good. Good, good, good. So that's that first round. Done. They will find their way out, which is good. That's one thing about bulbs. They know what's up. Literally. Okay, so next. I got a bunch of red tulips. So. All right. So anyways, how many red tulips did my mom get? How many you think, guys think? I have a feeling. It's going to be a fair amount. Oh, boy. I got a bunch. So, tulips are really only good for a short period. Daffodils. All right, so I got three different types of tulips. I got all these red tulips to put in. So on. I mean, I'm going to come in with other stuff to fill in once I have it, so it's going to be kind of with some perennials. Let's cover this back up. Maybe that'll help me think a little bit better. So my brain is a little fried right now on how to do this. So let's see. Let's cover this area back up. No. There. And the tulips are going to be struggling because uh, it's just here. I think this is my spot, so I don't want to put any here. So I think maybe just do tulips along. Fanning out that way. Oh, it's hard to say. Where it was. Yeah. So I think we'll do. Yeah, just a bunch of tulips along here. So I got this whole area to think about. That's kind of the issue. Doesn't necessarily need to be balanced, but. It's not gonna be dirty here, you know, it's gonna be covered with mulch. So, so how about how about I do daffodils, like daffodils, daffodils, and daffodils? Let's do that. So, we'll do some yellow, then we'll come back and do those. So do yellow just like right here, some whites right there. And we'll do two per two per spot. So let's get those, get them in their spot. This guy looks like they're going to come back. That's amazing. Oh, okay. Let's do maybe two here. Oh wait, these are, okay. These are doubled. So Two, this, 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 and this. Yeah. Just gonna do that. I think that's one. I gotta work. I have a little arc. I have no idea if it'll work. But we shall give it a try here, folks. And I got these white ones. Same thing, six inches down on these.
bulbs per square foot. You don't go anywhere, buddy. I've got six here. Same thing, so I'll just get a right here, right there. Just gonna do this, this, a double there. There, do that. Yeah. And then it's gonna have a hook around. Yeah. Like I said, no idea if that's gonna work or not, but we'll give it a try. And then we'll figure out the tulips. The tulips all just kind of spread out evenly around here because let them just do their thing. Well, so. That one. Just great thing bowls too, they just fill in every year too, so you know. Of course I gotta get through all this this though as well. It's the thing, this was a you know pretty much forgotten area of my look at my hair, which guess I say in frame as I can. Forgotten corner for pretty much my entire life even when i came when i was a kid it was no one gave two shits about this spot so you know it's got a lot of asp asphalt chunks from when they've done some work on the roads to you know and everything else where where they've uh, you know forgot about it and just been treated like crap for years so now to be at the point where someone's taking care of it, I'm pulling all the asphalt chunks out and all the beer cans and all the other, you know, normal shit that gets thrown into the side of a road that I'm discovering. Like, you know, even I planted last year, I'm still pulling asphalt out of there. It should be in the road, but, you know, the, the road crew comes by. I don't blame them. They don't want to have to deal with that, so they just chunk it over here. Well, after time, it ends up in down in the dirt. That's what you're stuck with, you know. So, but anyways, give this first first row first go with these bulbs and see how they do out here. It's you know it's a tough spot for them because there is a lot of uh, oh, what was I gonna say here? A lot of salt and sand gets over here from when the when everybody's doing their stuff, you know. Um, throughout the winter time. You know, we had a pretty good winter this year. We didn't really get much in the way of, you know, I want to say good. A lot of people are suffering because they didn't get the snowmobile traffic like they needed to, but it was good as in I didn't have to run my snowmobile very much. So for me, that is a good winter. As Lord knows I hate running that damn snowboard. You know, it's like anything. It makes the work day just a little bit longer. But like I said, here in Michigan... Just happy to, well, the sun was out, but like we got that cold front that's coming through. It's going to be, temperatures are going to be plunging back down in the 20s here again. So I want to take advantage while I could to get this stuff in the ground, get these guys out. It's definitely going to be getting cold again. Anyways, next week I'm working in my, my greenhouse to get my, um, all my other flowers, all my annuals. And my new perennials that aren't necessarily bulbs to get them done. So here's those. Cut this around that way. No idea if it's gonna work, but we shall try. Alright, here's that. That's saying I do love the internet. The fact that you know, I may have 
five or six different people hop on this, you know, while I'm, you know, we're just broadcasting for really just for me more than anything. Um, maybe able to help some folks out who've never done work with bulbs or never really done in the garden, stuff like this before. Give them a chance to, you know, learn about this stuff. You well, know, it's not that hard. You just got to biggest thing is just trying not to overthink it they only need us to get them in the ground they'll take care of everything after that so here's that now it's just going to be working my way up here something like that yeah why not we'll see no one really cares as long as it's got some color to it that's what that's the important piece so and Daffodils are crazy because they fill in so quickly. It's also littering. I need my paper flying away. But I say daffodils are funny like that because, man, they fill in quick too. And was it uh, my aunt? She moved in, and uncle, they moved into a new house. And it was funny their first, you know, the first season was like, okay, it's exciting to get to see exactly what we have planted in the front. You know, in the front area there because you, know, you don't know what people have. Some only had five. That's interesting. Who cares? No one's going to care, Ryan. Um, but it's interesting, you know, that, you know, the first thing up is daffodils always. They just, they come shooting up. The moment that they think that, you know, it's time. There are, so you you know where you're at, at least on, from a, season wise if the daffodils start showing up you know everything else is not far behind all right next up and i say i'm sure my mom she watches this video she's gonna be like what were you doing you didn't plant those deep enough you didn't do this or i already know if she watches this one there's going to be a conversation happening does has an amazing garden That's where all these daffodils. But I got black eyed Susans that we still have to get later in spring. Get them in the ground so I can have them for next year. And there's those. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Those are done. You can cover this back up. Save the worms. All right. All these tulips, there's so many of them. All right, get those guys covered back up so I kind of know where I did where I planted it. Just right to here, just right to here. Go back through and sweep this up later, make it look purdy. Okay, so the next thing on my list is actually pulling the rest of this stuff off. So I can get in here, do this. So I'm gonna move you guys kind of out of the way here. Kind of see what I'm up to. I gotta get this area. So it was just to here is where that was at. So let's clear this off. So I think I'm going to do have some tools up to there. Tools over there. I don't know. I got a bunch, so I might as well throw them in there. That's a great thing about this. When you're dealing with this, is you don't like the flowers the way they come up. You can just cut them back and be done with it. Really, all I'm doing is spending a little time here. Kind of get an area set so I can start. So I'm going to start over there. Kind of get a count of how many I have. And just kind of start putting them in groups. So I think I got groups of three here. Two of 
I got all these red tulips my mom gave me. Maybe I'll... So I want some on the corners. Wow. Look at all these tulips my mom gave me. Oh, good lord. A lot of tulips you have as far as extras. So, find a home for them. So we're going to put these guys in the corner here. I want these guys in great groups of threes here. And so we'll probably do these guys here. This set will go here. Right there. This area here. In that corner. I want to make sure I got it. This is wild, man. These ones. Go right here. And it's going to go there. Maybe a few more. Just to be, well, they'll fill out. That's great. This is always my least favorite part of this, is just kind of figure how to fill this out here. So, ah, the joys. we put it in rows like this. Or we just ring this thing with Oh my goodness, I got These guys are all getting ready. Groups here. Let me. All right, I think this through here. I'll just. All right, so we got three there. I think gonna do is just split these up five by five here. Get another count here, just trying to just don't want them spread out though. Want these in groups. Get you guys back over here. All right, so what I'm dealing with here is a whole bunch of tulips. So let's just slump that. I can try to count, just split them up. They need to be put in groups. Tulips do not like to be on the lonesome. They don't do so well. Thing is though, Tulips make so many other tulips. It's one of those things that you know, once you get them started, look at this guy, he's already off to the races here. Goodness. I'm 
that um just got so many but i want this thing packed with some flowers here and the neighbors like it it's good for the area to see a little bit of sunshine a little brightness after a cold awful nasty winter all right so that's that anyone else didn't make the cut so they yeah, asked so me guys are yeah. so i don't want to do this just put some let me get those guys but i know where i want them that's pretty straightforward no tulips along here. These guys are going in here. I've got tulips on the end here. So my biggest piece with this is I want to have these tulips on the end here so they pop up and look nice. Get all you guys out of here. There we go. So I got you there, you right here, you right there. All right, so that look nice when they come up in the corner here. Take sure that spot. Good there. Now the rest of the stuff. Uh, so take all of these, which I don't believe was there because the rest of these tulips, I'm just going to kind of place in groups of four, just kind of around here, I think, four or five. I think that's probably the answer. Oh, there's always one. Oh, they always let the kids come. These kids crack me up here. So... Uh, so let's get into this thing here. Uh, got so it's right around here is where I've got those. The alums are there. So if I just, you know, I could just do tulips around. Nah. I just kind of put them in groups around here, just let them come up and see what happens. It's always t always tough to tell what, when you're dealing with bulbs because you never know which ones are actually going to make it, which ones aren't. So we'll do our best this first year, and then we will adjust accordingly. So here's three for there. Three. There's this, another stack of them right here. Yeah. This guy's two together, you don't even like that. Bam. So I'll take you with me over here. Another set of you guys here. They're just like right here. Yeah. There, maybe. Leave these guys right here. There. There. Goes there. Just kind of here. See what they do to fill in, you know. Something like that. Why not?
There's that one. Check. Um, yeah, it's gonna kind of throw them wherever here. That's the plan. We'll just put them wherever. No real rhyme or reason of them. That looks like a good spot for tulips, and we'll be a good spot for tulips, you know? <clears throat> Who knows? What was that? Not sure. Kind of throwing these guys wherever now. So, so I have a ton of them, and you know they're gonna fill in next year even deeper. So that'll be great. Tulips are done so early that I can come in with you know, something else. Remainder of the year. It's kind of the idea. Yeah, sorry, I'm so quiet right now. Just been a day, you know. Been a few days. My radio program today didn't go as off as well as I would have liked. I think the guest did his best, but you know, in a day I just, yeah, I, don't know if I wasn't feeling it or something. It just wasn't, didn't hit like I wanted it to. So you know, that's unfortunate. But. Not every day can be perfect, you know. You do your best where you're at and hope it all works out, you know. Feel good to be out. Ain't productive though. Getting less. What's that? Ah, shit. Too closer. I'm over in the. Over in the daffodils. Shoot. I just didn't kill it. I think it'll be all right. Obviously thinking about something. Oh, ouch. What is on my mind? It got me all quiet all of a sudden. You know, I don't know. It's interesting. I did, I got quiet. I don't know why.
bathroom's there. So this area, you all need to make your way over there. So kind of got that spot. So let's finish off there. And let's make our way over here. All of you. I mean, let's cover all this back up. And I'll start on the other side. All right, get this area and sit up. This whole area is going to get, you know, some more uh, mulch here in a few weeks. So I just need to get enough to cover. Try to help suppress weeds as much as I can for now. Full well that it's going to get another yard put on top of it here. Man, I say yard, maybe half a yard. In a few weeks. Okay. That's good. Up the cover. All right. It's time to move all this stuff off. I have to mow. My goodness. Ugh. Oops, you're fine. All right, that's a little closer here. Let me see what's going on. As hard as I work to get grass on this property, man, do I hate ripping it up. But it's growing on the wrong spot, so it can't be there. Now this area here isn't going to have any, it's just going to be filling in like right there. So I don't have to move, I mean, honestly, moving this stuff over here is fine. So where I'm going to have them to is like right like this area. Where all those are going to go. Yes. Pull this part off a little bit. Good. Yeah. Get these guys covered up on. So just off to your the other side there, folks. Just trying to spread this out. Not trying to do too much extra work if I can help it. You know, ain't trying to move the mulch or disturb the mulch too much. It's been turned over, which is good. But all right, so I need here over. to 
here. Here. Get this part here off. There we go, Mr. Sun. Welcome back. You are also very welcome. Come hang out with us. There you go. Fill these in there. That guy's got to get down on the corner. Let me do him first. So, I was saying, it's nice of my mom to give me all these, all these bulbs. But, man, it's like 80 to 90. Ugh. Red tulip bulbs. That's a lot. So it would be a nice pop of color to come in here. So let's get this guy all situated and ready to go here. This can go there. You can go there. Here. It's going to go like that. Yeah. Come back up. Okay, cool. All right. Time to just kind of work on the rest here and bring you over here so you guys can see me a bit better. So, this is my. Mine where it was right there. So, Pool of Central here. Yes. Have a bunch. Throwing them wherever. Well, yeah, I don't care. I don't want that one now. There he is. Our little guy. There. And the bulbs too. They always just look so gross. So you're able to like till they're in the ground, like they just look so gross. No idea if uh, they'll come up. You know, they don't look like they should come up and work, but once they're in, it's golden. You know. All right. That guy. Some of these bulbs are pretty significant, I'll say that much. So with this, my bulbs, time I get bulbs, I always have them basically hang out uh, in the garage after they've been dried and they're all good that is of course you know are they and pulled out paper bag put them in the put them in the garage so they can get go through the cold snap right and get seasoned or whatever the phrases they use to describe it um yeah so you do that piece which is great and then uh it gets to be about season you'll see them when they're ready to go they start looking like they're ready to go. I mean, it's the only way to describe it. Right, until they kind of come alive. One thing is I definitely don't have any training on 
uh, landscape design or how I should be treating these bulbs per se. You know, they got to go down a certain depth and, you know, typically between four and six inches is great. You know, that's usually more than enough. I'm out there, but beyond that, I got no idea like these guys are supposed to be in groups or not, or what they even looks like. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Come here, you guys. This guy's good. I think it's good. Let's get you right there. Let's put two right next to each other. We've had some pretty good rain the last few days, too, so easier to work these guys into where they need to be. It's got a all right. These next group of them here. Just kind of popping them in a place here. Let's put a Another stack of them back over here. All right, toss the rest of them. It's just kind of cleaned up there. Next thing, um, what do I got left? Why don't I? here little spot there a bunch here a bunch there i think it's all right i think i got a good coverage so these last ones here Just put them right there for now i'll find another spot for them in my garden we got a couple other areas that i can put some bulbs in it can hurt nothing so that was for today so now it's just ah, moving all this stuff back over like i said i've got a This really only has to last a couple more weeks. We'll be back over here with a uh, uh, another like half, yeah, probably a full yard will go on this, covered up to a certain level. Ugh. But yeah, that's what today looked like was just getting a few bulbs done that need to get in there. So daffodils are going to want to start popping up here, almost like now. I mean, I'm actually just getting them in probably at the right time, to be honest. So I've got, there's tulips that are popping up 
in my other part of my property where I've got you know, some bulbs that have been there forever. Yeah. Kind of cleaning up now. And today I did. Oh, it's probably close to six, thirty, oh, almost a hundred bulbs today. Let's see how many of them actually take. You now these aren't guaranteed bulbs. I just can't came from my mom's yard but, you know chances are good most are viable and chances are really good that most of them are viable but you never know it's not like buying from uh, the box the box stores because you know those flowers have already had at least one season on them so they know they're viable not every bulb it is viable so we've got some rain coming over the next few days so this is all puffed up now the, the mulch here some more just down here so we get that rain it'll smush this down a little bit which would be nice I'll tell you the funniest thing has been my uh funniest but most interesting is how, how much Like wild garlic is still coming up in my yard after we have a lot of wild garlic a lot of wild onion here most of the wild garlic and i put four inches of loam on top of this property when i moved in so i was expecting you know obviously most of that was going to be gone which it is but holy crap is there a ton coming up all over the place which is great because you know, my wild garlic is actually pretty good here. So, all right, well, I'm going to kill it for this spot. Thanks to all y'all who are watching. See you next time.